is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. <laughs> Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> We're almost there. That's enough! Oscar. I had no idea an exorcist Praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady, so I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? All right, graceless demon it is then. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? and a Moloch or two for this. With demon blight? 
lost control. Are fatal. <sighs> Please consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Luffy's! That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry! Before my life fades, do it now! I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days <laughs> when you and I and Arthur were <laughs> together. Don't. seen such a demon!
apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? <sighs> Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! from the tower. I thought, this is it, Mogilu. This is the end! It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care. Rokurodan gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters! The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No! He was thrown in! Until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. I won't let you escape! Never! I'm a demon. Spare me your sermons, if you can pay with your life! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I give you this order. Do it, number two. The kid's gonna blow himself up! To think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist. I wasn't crying! Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. Okay. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword. Twin blades. And a Reaper. No pendulum that I can see. Let's go! I'll set! See this? Hold stop! Hold stop! See this? Let's go! Let's go! I'll set! Hold stop! I'll set! See this? See this? See this? Go to! See this? Too slow! Let's go! No one! the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. 
We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh hey, the crybaby. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Prater! It's a Willing to fight without your Malachine? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis! How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Well, you're good, whoever you are. I'm Aizen, the Reaper. And Eifried's first mate. A buddy of Eifried's? Oh, this'll be too good. So you are the one who took Captain Eifried from us. Oh yeah, that's the spirit, pal. Aizen, calm yourself. He's a Moloch and he's against the Abbey. If we work together, we can pass the barrier. Don't give me your peacemaking crap. I'm settling this my way. Right here, right now. Stay out of this! I see. Well, two can play at that game. I'll handle this in my way. I'll beat you both until you're helpless. Then open that barrier. Why does it have to be like this? Keep quiet and help Velvet. Otherwise, she'll bite our heads off. Forgive us, Aizen. Let's go! Oh, no escape! Hurricane! Come to! Oh, 
<laughs> You're a treat, you know that? So, what's your plan after you punch through this barrier? Kill the shepherd. Damn, that's a new one. She's dead serious. All right, all right. You won the fight. What do you want me to do? Are you ready, my merry little Malakim? Now, line up before the barrier. Artorius! Demons and Malakim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. Revenge for Lapiset! Uh Very well. It is time. So this is the shepherd's style. Boy, howdy, I'll be dead. But he has no more. Remember the plan. Right. Crushing weight. Hold stop. your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power! Is it really? That is cheating! Why do I remember you? That night. A terrible night. <laughs> more. More healing. <laughs> it's impossible. We have to run. You won't escape this time. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, 
That man would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Eh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood is me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. Sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. You haven't changed a bit, Shigure. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either, brother. Oh, wait. You're a demon? Ha, <laughs> now it's getting good. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? I'll handle him. Rafi said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my killing flash! But I'm just close! I want this! Form zero! Shut up! Feisty as a demon. I like it. <laughs> but alas, I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My... my body! <laughs> I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! No backing down for you this time, huh? It looks so deadly. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. Which means it's not a Therian. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. 
So, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, no turning back now. Damn it, this wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, but training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One more move and you're done for. I know, that's the fun part. Get it done! This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? I'll do whatever it takes. That's my way. Sabine! Yeah. I see you're out for blood, as usual. I knew what I had to do. Become a Therian and devour malevolence so that such a tragedy would never repeat itself. It matters not what dreadful form my body will take. I will revive Enominat and change this wretched world! If that's how it is, fine. We'll take you by force. Going to end this. Her death will not be in vain. Oh, woman. She's just a crazy mother. It doesn't matter. Killing flash. But I'm just close. I won't miss. Form zero. Blade to blade. 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 Blade to
over. Curse you, Lord of Calamity. Lord of Calamity? That's the name of the Demon Lord who will bring about the Age of Chaos. The unrepentant embodiment of malevolence whose blind pursuit of self-gratification will rain destruction upon the world. The irredeemable, uncontrollable personification of human sins. An evil like you! Demon, Therian, Lord of Calamity, call me whatever you like. But if I'm the supposed Lord of Demons, then you're just a minion to be used as I please, nothing more. No, I refuse. What happened to my Diana was my fault. That's why I will fight you until my dying breath! Stop! Don't get in my way! No! Enough mothers have died. I won't let you join them! Eleanor and Kamawana, they both lost their mothers too. It's a terrible thing. Kamawana? <clears throat> Teresa, get back! Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light, and it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. She turned into Etherian? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all! Anything to protect Oscar! Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? Let's go! A trivial sacrifice. I'd do anything for my husband. You broke! Here you go! Oh, my God. 
devour you piece by piece. <laughs> it's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look. This is armatization. Let's go! I'm dead! Guys, please, die! Illusory! Come on! Come on! 
sister. Oh, <gasps> 
pair of earrings for my birthday. They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiancée, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet. So innocent. And you took him away! You killed my Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you? Teresa, Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little... I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magi Lu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magi Lu Maven! Fools, all of you! Everyone, sorry to avoid you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah! You're a horrible See? Stab him! That's all you need! No escape! Get him!
Tell Artorius and Inomi not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. You spread havoc and destruction all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord, the irredeemable embodiment of sin! The Lord of Calamity. It is the Exorcist's duty to destroy you! You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Eifried is? You'll regret this. I can feel he know me not. He's coming! We can fight here no longer. Bienfu, close the rift! I can't! Come forth! <laughs> we used to play tag all the time. I won't let you get away, Velvet. You know me not! <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm scared! Stop it! You're turning him into a dragon! That was the whole reason I took him from Teresa. It's just another necessary sacrifice for peace. <gasps> You monster! You know me not to the front of us, a dragon to the back of us. Reaper's curse doesn't begin to describe it. What a shame. Is that despair I sense? Not on your life! It'll take more than this to make your big sister break. The more you resist, the more you'll suffer. Velvet! Let me punish this rotten little delinquent. You're just a Malak. You don't stand a chance. I'm not just any Malak. And I'm sick of murdering scum like you! I know no limits! For I am Sabine! Sabine! Officially too damn much. We'll be fine. Take them out one by one! <laughs> Only my family larger us. Save your regrets, like Julia. We're dead if we don't focus. <laughs> Bring it. Here, please! You promised me! Here's your justice! Fighting order! Let us rip and land! Crash no through! Down the water! No mercy! Wounds that will be fighting the other! Told you you would suffer. Safid. 
I'll hold off you know me not. Everyone else, take out that dragon. There's no way you can face him alone. At least let me assist you. This isn't an order. It's strategy. I'm counting on you, Fee. For something that's a mere part of me, you're awfully uppity. I am the Mala Lofty Set! I miscalculated before. I won't hold back this time. And neither will we! It's changed! We're still in the same bind! V is trying to become someone new. It's a gamble. I'm in. Me too. You stay out of this. We don't point all the plans on Skull. Then you'll just have to flip it over for me. Not happening. We're going to the checkbox. Oh, stop!
healing again! No, it's not! You talk big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't tell you! So be it. <laughs> <laughs> If I devour you, we'll be one again anyway! The compass! She isn't! Yours! <laughs> velvet is Velvet! And you're just a fragment of me! So that was your strategy. Hey! Give us more warning! You almost roasted us alive! You've really done it now! I'll turn you into a dragon! See who's left in this! We're leaving! Hurry! <laughs> Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kenny Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Rokuro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair. You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got. I know. All too well. All right. Let's have some fun. You got it. Round 1013. Begin. Seriously, you're still counting only because they were all losses. But that ends today. Stop! 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 Stop!
Something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. He's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigurai Rangetsu, after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. So this is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique... to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take... Stormhowl. 
One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Oh. Idiot. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius' stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. <laughs> Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't! Aizen, stop! I told you, he's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. Rebellious still fallen so far. I'm Muggy Lou for no longer! Muggy Lou, here it You broke me! Here's your justice! Fight your order! Have all! Should it kill? Here! 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 Here!
younger. A hundred? He's used an oath to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it bought me enough time to finish my art. You'll die too! As long as I take the Lord of Calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because... I for a reason! Emotions are a real pain, aren't they? Do you really believe that will without reason can break it? Your sword is strong! But, it's still only a weapon, just like ours. Why don't you test that theory? With your life, of course. Ever since you hit me, I've had this really annoying feeling in my chest. But I can't figure out what it is. Then I'll just have to hit you again and see if that helps. Hmm. I'm sure I'll feel better after I eat you. Arthur! I finally have an answer to your question. Why do you think that birds fly? Birds fly, because they want to fly. They don't need a reason, even if their wings may snap and doom them to die. They don't fly for anyone's benefit. They don't fly because they were ordered to. Birds fly, because they want to fly, and for no other reason! So that's your answer. Yes. Because that's who I am! You were always like this. That sort of foolishness is what creates the demons and plunges the world into tragedy and despair. Then you drive the demons out! Isn't that right, Shepard Artorius? That has been my plan all along.
You'd better finish the job! Because if you don't... I'm going to... Devour you!
Tenacious demons. He's the reason, right there. I'll take care of you. Stand aside, Velvet. Not happening! Have my comb. That was the comb that Laffy gave me. Not you, we know me not. Uh, of course. I mean, know me not, now reborn. And you're the Lord of Calamity. Oh, Artorius. I'm hungry. My stomach is empty. My chest is empty. My body is empty, too. I'm... It hurts. It hurts so much. It looks like we won't be able to harvest despair by eating you anymore. Well then... Birds must fly. Because they possess strong wings. Mankind must be suppressed, because it possesses great sin. Malevolence, tragedy, war, anger, tears, even love must all be suppressed. With the grace of my beating wings, I will grant humanity the tranquility it deserves. You know me not. Come, devour my despair! I shall suppress all creation! Our Taurus was filled with this much despair? Was he holding it in check this whole time? One misstep. Yes, oh. We would have become a demon. Ah. Just the power of our Taurus is determination, but also free of his true nature. We can't lose to him now! We'll never lose to despair! <laughs>
Spell! 
strong. Let us settle this here and now, Lord of Calamity. what you told me once, long ago. <sighs> On the day... of the opening... Velvet... The Arthur you knew... died that day. It was always there, in the back of my mind. If only it hadn't been Silica and my son who were killed that day. If only it had been you two instead. I thought the same thing so many times. If it had been us, then I know. I know you would have fought to save the world for us. for everyone. Such a pity. Goodbye. It's over. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. No, it's not over yet. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! His power is running wild! No one is keeping his power in check anymore! This is bad! still have time to kill him! Wait! <coughs> I'll do it. I endured it all. Even though I was scared. Even though it hurt. I know. I drank that gross medicine. I stopped myself from doing what I wanted to do. Eating what I wanted to eat. I tried so hard. Why won't you give me this? I hate you! I hate you, Velvet! Luffy said, <laughs> you tried really hard. But you don't have to fight anymore. Time for us to rest, Luffy. So that's it. 
Velvet will let Inomi not devour her forever. With her forever devouring him in return. She will seal him while keeping him alive. An infinite contradiction. A perpetual cycle of destruction. Velvet, you can't! You and I are part of Inomi not V. If he dies, both of us will die too. I dug my own grave. But... But you... I don't care about myself! I'm not scared of dying as long as I'm with you! Good. Then die. But only after eating, living, doing everything you want to in life. I really am horrible, aren't I? Just a selfish failure of a human being. But despite all that, you still saved me. With your unwavering kindness and strength. I didn't do anything! Velvet, you were the one who... Fee, you must have seen it during our travels. Humans spend their lives in constant struggle. That's why they end up making so many mistakes. Even my poor brother. That's why I'm asking this of you. Please live. I was the cause of so much chaos and destruction. Help the world I ruined. Help people like me. Help the weak. This is... My last selfish request. That's... that's not fair! I'm truly... sorry. if you ask me. You are mistaken. Without it, Nominat, the balance of our power will crumble. The elements will clash in violence and ruin. The world will take millennia to recover from the destruction. No! To save the world from destruction, a new Imperium is needed. A bulwark of great strength and indomitable. I'll do it. I'll be your new Empyrean. Hold on a second, Lafisette! You can't just- Let's hear him out. You are part of Inominat. You're not lacking in strength. But the question here is one of your intent. Just what do you wish for this world? What will you bring unto its denizens? I want people to have another chance! A chance for them to right the wrongs born of their fallible spirits! To give those who dream of flying the time they need to rest their wings! So that in their strength, their weakness, their cruelty, their kindness, these imperfect humans will one day stretch their wings toward the horizon! Make your dream a reality! Young, Young Imperial.
really back on the ground. <gasps> the Dragon of Light! <sighs> Good grief. Velvet's recklessness rubbed off on him. Hasn't it, Luffy Set? Huh? Is that really Luffy Set? But how? That is his Empyrean form. It's also proof of his determination. Like an oath? Yes. Do I frighten you now, Eleanor? Not at all. You've matured into a fine man. So was that flame your true power as an Empyrean? Demons. Malevolence. Did that fire get rid of it all? No. I'm still very much a demon. The Silver Flame has the power to cleanse a soul of its malevolence and change a demon back into a human. But it doesn't have the power to change people's hearts. It just gives them another chance at life. Isn't that right? Sorry. Looks like my sins run too deep to fix. That's fine. It's a part of who you are, Rokuro. You're still a softie, aren't you? Well, that's just great. Huh? Most of the exorcists are wiped out, but the evil and chaos in people's hearts lives on. Gonna be tough going from here on out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Even still. Humanity will never lose its hope, or its prayers for a better future. Well said! The Malachim have free will again. Some may even lend you their aid to help create this ideal future of yours. I will spread the word. This world is now under the protection of the Empyrean Lafayette. Um, would you mind not calling me that? I don't think it really fits who I am now. I guess you're right. That was Velvet's name for you. Okay, what should we call you then? Call me by the name Eleanor gave me. One who lives. That's what Lafayette means. Translated into the ancient language, 